Come here. Get up. Get up. Oh my god. Oh my god! I can't even reach across this <laughs> Welcome to Muggy Bowls Fishing! So you want to be a better angler, huh? I know nothing about this. <laughs> I suck. Dude, my first day on Goddardsville when I came out here, I didn't even, I got one bite. I came out here with a girl, dude. And I started punching mats and I'm like, I know everything and I know nothing. I think that's the first step. The first step to being a better angler is accept the fact that you know nothing. You know, fishing is, it's a non-sport sport. Like there isn't a technique that works all the time. There isn't a strategy that works all the time. It's a very dynamic thing that we do. And I think that's one of the reasons it kind of lives in the ether world between like a sport and a hobby because it's nuanced. It's like building a model. It's like, you know, there's different kind of weird detail aspects to it. It's a little bit lucky but it's also kind of like a sport too it's it's competitive you know we're trying to figure things out we're trying to create strategies that, that make us more successful so it, it's just it's a funny thing so i'm going to give you a few things that i do to be a better angler i don't know if they work for everybody because everybody's mind is different i hate to be that like mr relativity but like i am uh, you know, a lot of people think different ways about the same thing, and a lot of things work differently for different people. But a few things that I do, one thing that is really integral, let me show it to you actually, I, I don't have it booted up, but I got Navionics on my phone every night, well almost every night, like when I'm going fishing or like the few days before I'm going fishing, I'll get on that phone and I am literally analyzing the lake. I'm analyzing where I'm going. I'm thinking about seasonal patterns. Is it summer? Is it hot? Are these fish out deep? Is there like this? Is there a bunch of grass around us? Like, is there matted grass? Are there shallow grass humps that I can target? Is that grass gonna show up on certain areas or in certain depths? Because I need a plan. It doesn't mean that's exactly what I'm gonna do, but I need something that that I can go by throughout the day. Along with a plan, and a plan kind of fits into the same template, like simplifying things. If I drop a bunch of waypoints, I'll run through 20 of them and two of them will have fish. Simplifying what I'm fishing with. You know, if I'm on a new body of water, I tend to have like a thousand rods and that's just the way I work. But when I'm like, this is a great example. You know, we're out here trying to punch. Like I came out here and I knew I'd put my head down. So I have, you know, something to swim through the grass, a little, a little uh, burner craw on a wobble head, a punch rig. I got a frog and a top water. And I probably won't have anything else on other than that because it simplifies what I'm gonna do. I know, you know, based on prior experiences that I'm gonna catch fish on one of those or figure out some kind of little pattern or some kind of little, you know, niche thing to do. So simplifying things and, and just keeping it that way and putting your head down, they're fish, dude. Like I know like they, they seem smarter sometimes, most of the time, but in the end, if you do something that you have a lot of confidence in, I have a lot of confidence in punching. I got a lot of confidence in throwing a frog. If I do that, I'm going to find some fish. It might not be the mega bag that I'm looking for. It might not be the, you know, the tournament winning bag for the next two weeks, but I'm going to find some fish and I'm going to learn some things about how they're set up. And then I can expand on my baits. You know, I start punching edges and I notice that I'm getting bit right on the edge. I can tie on a chatter bait, go along this edge and buzz a chatterbait. But simplifying and kind of keeping your mind straight, I spin out. So uh, these two first like techniques or, or tips that I'm giving you are anti-spin out techniques. They're, they're things to kind of keep your head in the game. We're out here, dude, I don't know about you, but like when I go fishing, I'm out here at like five, six in the morning and I stay out here till six, seven o'clock. So that's a lot of hours to lose your mind. So those are kind of things that, that allow me not to lose my mind. This one's pretty straightforward, have a network. And I'm not saying like have 30 people that you call for like a fishing pattern because that's that's like Facebook fishing. That's stupid. But like have a few guys 
that that you or gals look at me being gender focused or whatever i'm hashtag canceled here but have some people that that you deal with that you trust that you can call up and be like hey dude i don't i don't need to know where you're catching them i don't need to know you know anything i don't need waypoint whatever dude but like what's going on what have you been seeing on the lake what are some of the patterns have you seen them shallow have you seen them deep are they in the grass? Are they offshore? You know, just stuff like that. What's the water temp? What's the water clarity look like? And remember too, it's reciprocal, dude. If you talk to somebody for a while and like you, you kind of open yourself up, you give them some stuff, you like, you tell them, hey, dude, like they're next to the buoy, what da 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 da. Like, and dude, freaking, you never hear another word from the guy and stuff like that. Obviously, that, that's not a good relationship. It's just like like you and a chick or whatever. Like, it, it, there's a back and forth. There's a give and take. So create a network like that. It can't be too big. Otherwise, you tend to piss people off and stuff. But create kind of a little small network where you can believe what they're telling you and you can share some of your information. Because what I find is that's really interesting and happens with the videos with you guys is we start a dialogue. And in that dialogue, it doesn't always work, but it, it kind of expands. Like you have a perspective on something. You tell me, hey, try this bait in this kind of grass or on you know, this offshore ledge or whatever, and, and I'll try it. And like, I'm like, wow, that worked. That's really cool. And when you have somebody who you can kind of go back and forth or a couple people, like you tend to open your mind or they show you things that you don't see. Because we all have our own little style with fishing and our own little approach. And, and when you have somebody to kind of shake you up a little bit and, and send you in a little different direction, you catch more fish and you learn stuff too. Mm. This one might piss a few people off. And it is what it is, dude. You can give me hell down in the comments box. I don't care. The fish never don't bite. Like, they, they don't. Like, and, and your pattern, when it doesn't work, it's your fault. It's, pretty, it's harsh, dude. A little reality check there, right? So, dude, I mean, everybody knows that guy fishes a derby. He's freaking on him, boy. 30 pounds coming to the scales. And that's, that's like Thursday, dude. Friday, bro, shook him off. Game on. Saturday, he catches like eight and a half pounds. Five fish. Five fish. So we all know that guy. And we've probably all been that guy. I know I've been that guy, dude. I've been on him, boy. And then I go back and I'm like, damn, dude. I, sh I should have like hooked every single one of them. But the trick is, is and, and here's, here's why I say it like that, is I use it to motivate myself. If I come out and have a total day, bleep that out, like... I, I I'm angry, dude. I'm pissed. I freaking I go home. I mope around. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking all the time when I'm at home moping, what could I've done differently? What did I miss? What changed? What what didn't I try? How can I do better the next time I'm out? And that if you take that all that negative garbage and you turn it into something that, that motivates you for the next time that you get out, you'll be amazed how driven you are to get back out here and how you can like spend. We talked about how many hours you spend on the water. Dude, you'll spend 10, 12 hours out here because you'll put your head down and be like, I ain't taking this from you bass. I ain't taking it, bro. Like I'm going to get you. And when you do that, and it works in a million different situations, but use a crap day of fishing to motivate you. Use it to like put you back out on the water and take all that negative. You gotta be negative for a minute. It's fine, it's the way it is. But we all have crap days. It's what we do with them afterwards that really matters. As that bass jumps, nice job. But be negative, that's normal. But turn it into something. On that same note, get a chip on your shoulder. And, and I don't mean like get all angry with people and stuff like that, but I will tell you 100%. So this boat is thanks to you guys. And this is a nice boat. And I am 100% like grateful for having this boat because I never thought I'd have anything like this. But at the same time, I was in a tin boat. I was in a rowboat. I fished from the bank. I had holes in my deck right there, dude. And you know what? People laughed at me. Along with me having the cameras, they laughed at me too. They, they laughed at me. You know what I did? I used that, and I'm like, mm, you, mm, you. I'm gonna go and shoot videos. I'm gonna go catch fish in weird ways with my little boat where I can only go 35 miles an hour, and I'm gonna figure out something right around the ramp that you totally overlooked. Like, it comes back to that motivation thing. Like, you guys comment a lot of times, you know, I wish I had that boat, I wish da da da. Yeah, you know, set goals. Like, you want better things. Like, that's the way life works. You kind of grow, you like, it took me years to get all these graphs, to do all this stuff. Like, it takes time. But, like, use, like, that, that 
chip on your shoulder to drive you, dude. You'd be amazed what it does in tournaments. You go fish. I fished a BFL, dude, and got like third or something like that in a freaking Tracker 175 with a, a 75 horse. Yeah. Yeah. What's up now? Like, th that's, like, that kind of, and it was like full field. It was like 225, 225 boats. So, like, that's the kind of stuff, like, use that. Because you, you don't have anything else going for you, right? Like, you, you got your little boat and that. But use your mind. Use that chip on your shoulder. And use it to motivate you, dude. And go out and catch bass. Because they're bass. They're stupid. They're fish. And you can catch them. And there's all kinds of little nuanced stuff. That's the other thing, too. It, it's like, think, this is me, though. Think small. Like, if you got a little boat, dude, pick apart a small area. Like, freaking pick it apart. If you're bank fishing, use Google Maps. Find the juice. Like, it's going to take some time, it's going to take some wasted days, but find the juice. There's workarounds for every sort of shortcoming that you have in fishing. You just got to be willing to put the time in and the work in to, to overcome. And that kind of comes to the last thing. And I know a lot of you guys have, like, families and stuff, and it's hard to get out, but nothing replaces time on the water. Whether it's on the water, on the bank, just get out and slang. Like, not only will you be a happier person, because if you're anything like me, you need to do this. I need to fish or I lose my damn mind. But it'll also teach you some stuff. You'd be amazed. Like, so we're shooting this video. I just saw three fish blow up over there. I'd have never seen them if I wasn't just like chilling out and hanging out. So like, time on the water, get out. Last but not least, by any means, be a bait junkie. Like, don't be a tweaker. Don't be a junkie junkie. Don't be a smack donkey. Don't do any of that but be a bait junkie, like, like bait junkies, bait junkie, bait junkie. Now, why do I say that? Not because I want you to go spend a bunch of money and stuff like that, but coming all back to the mental game, because I think that's what being a better angler really comes down to. Like we can all buy baits, we can all do that, but I've been in the boat so many times with a guy fishing the same thing as me and he's totally whooping me like whooping me dude and i cannot change it like so it, it to me it's a mental game but the reason i say be a bait chunky is it's kind of a fun thing and it's something that i picked up with the videos i'll pick something up like what's a good example actually you know what like one of the best examples is is a ned rig so a Ned Rig with like 12 pound fluorocarbon, nice job, Mike. A Ned Rig is something that got super popular like many years ago. And I, you know, I wasn't on the board with it, like whatever, but I'm like, that looks cool. I got to try that. So I picked it up and I threw it religiously for like, God, like four or five like outings. And then I smashed the face with it. So like it basically, so I thought this was really cool. I'm like, this is cool. I want to try it. So then I got the bait and I went out and it's kind of like simplifying things. I put my head down and I learned how to fish it. And when you do that, if you go and you buy some like new funky bait or something like that, it's a great way to be like, dude, I want to try that. I want to go fish it all over the lake, deep, shallow, around the grass. And like you end up learning and like, I how many times did I said like in this video? Unbelievable, Mike. But you learn different things and you end up picking up different things maybe not even about that lure but it motivates you to get out there and fish because it's like having a new toy or something like that you go out there you sling your toy you play with your toy and you act like a kid but you end up figuring out little bites because you were willing to put your head down because you were so infatuated with that new bait you thought it was really cool and and you tried something say you know like a swim bait's a great example you know i've been belly weighting swim baits a little bit which leads me to then go and throw them where i'd throw a chatter bait or even shallower so a weedless belly weighted swim bait so i end up figuring out like these little nuanced patterns in these in these little sections of water where i can take another bait and do something like that and maybe catch more fish maybe catch bigger fish it opens doors but it's it's a pathway of motivation it's a pathway to sort of more understanding and more learning it's sort of a way to trick your head because that's what fishing's about. It's about putting your head down and figuring out how to trick your head to stay down, stay focused, and pick up on little details and nuances that really unlock the key to a pattern. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, these are just my perspectives. I, I'm not saying it's gonna work for you, but tell me some of the things that you do that, that 
you think make you a better angler or can make you a better angler? Some of the practices, maybe you set goals, maybe you fish tournaments, you fish a certain level of tournaments, you try to take a, a fishing trip once every year. Like, what do you do to become a better angler? So drop that down in the comments box. I'd like to hear your perspectives. Um, if any of these work for you, try them, implement them. If you got any questions about any of them, hit me up. I think I was pretty straightforward. But thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. It's a real grassroots effort. YouTube hates us, but you like us. And I like you guys, and I like all the feedback and all the interesting techniques and stuff that you bring to me in the comments and by messages and all that. It's it's super cool. I like grassroots stuff, dude. I like, I'm a blue collar kind of guy. That's, that's the way I roll. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you back out on the water, hopefully catching some fish. I might go punch a little bit, but hopefully catching some fish or I'll be hanging out with Bog back in the Bass Cave talking techniques, strategies, and patterns. How about that? Thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines.